You know, it's crazy in this world how often somebody else is taking care of something very important that is a great help to you and you don't even know what's going on. That was certainly the case in Evergreen and how the decision was made whether or not to call off school in the Evergreen schools when there was bad, bad weather. Well, it turned out that Riley Scott, the old man of the mountain, had apparently for years been the man that if the weather is threatening, snow is a real concern, he'd get up early enough that by 5 o'clock in the morning, on a snowy morning, he'd be out on the roads checking it out and making a decision. And if it was bad enough, he would tell the uh, t call down and tell the director of transportation, better not have school at Evergreen today. And I think that his decision in those days took care of Evergreen and Conifer both. Well, I didn't know what was going on. I don't know if Dick Lee, since he'd been there a year longer than me, knew or not. But here comes the uh, late winter situation when uh, Riley's going to be away. I can't remember what the occasion was, but he would be away from the mountain area. So he gets a little appointment there for Dick Lee and I to meet with him, and he in explains to us how that works. And since he would be gone, that the two of us should assume his responsibility for determining whether or not school should be held if it snows. You get up, he said, to get around so that by 5 o'clock in the morning you're out on the roads driving. He said, since you guys live in little different areas, Dean, you go out to the north of Evergreen and look it over. Dick, you go out to the south and to the west. For sure enough. While Riley's gone, a storm comes in. Dick and I get up. We're out on the road. Oh, and he said, after you've made your checks and you have a telephone conference between the two of you, and this is before those cell phones, you weren't able to be out there and then talk about it. <clears throat> you had to go out and do your check and go back to your house and get on the phone. Boy, out there north of Evergreen, a snow was a flying, it was accumulating, they hadn't had the trucks out yet, of course, to do the sanding and so on, but you couldn't hardly see, your windshield wiper couldn't keep ahead of the snow, and the snow was accumulating. Scary. So I go back to the house, I don't know if I called Dick or if he called me, but we're on the phone together, and we both had the same impression. This looks like a mother of a storm, and we'd better call it off. I think Dick did the call down. Well, wouldn't you know, We our school started, I think, at 8 o'clock in the morning, which meant the kids were getting on buses in the dark. But by 8 o'clock in the morning, sun's out. Trucks have been out and the roads are decently cleared. No school, it's too late, you know, to reconsider. Jeff County is a big organization, and they use those buses on multiple routes. The kids, some of the kids, too many of the kids were downtown bugging the merchants that day. They didn't like that. All of the faculty, I think, that were skiers went skiing. It was a holiday. And brother, I don't know if Dick got chewed out or not, but I got a call from an assistant superintendent really reaming me and a dick out for calling off school when it wasn't necessary. And didn't we understand how much that messed up the entire bus schedule and the transportation system clear through the, the morning? Boy, from then on, it was snowy. And even though I at that time had never again had to make the decision about whether there would be school or not, the kids would bug me, how much does it have to snow before you go off school? I'd say, hey, you see that temporary building out there? If it snows so much that you look out there and you can't be sure whether or not you're seeing that building, partially because the snow is stacked up around it, 
Then we call off school. Never called off school again, but the rest of the story is a separate video.